To get started with a multi-page app, you can head over to the Create drop-down and select Multi-Page App. You can also click the three-dot menu on any existing app and select the Duplicate to Multi-Page option. I've already set up a multi-page app, so let's head over there and check out some of its features. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that there is now a Pages tab in the IDE. The names of the pages here correspond to the slug that appears at the end of the URL, which means that you can link to specific pages. To add a new page, click the Add button. From here, you can either create a blank page or import an existing app as a page. I already have an existing app, so let's try importing this as a new page. And great, so you'll see here that it has imported all of my queries and components automatically. The header and sidebar of this app are globally scoped, so they remain unchanged. There are a few more steps I need to take to make this fully navigable, so let's take care of that. First, I'm gonna rename the page, and then I need a way to navigate to it. So I'm gonna add a menu item, select page, and update the label. And there you have it. Now I can navigate between these pages and it's a lot more performant because we only have to load the queries and the components that are needed for the page. If I go over to the code tab, you'll see that the queries are separated between global and page code. Global queries are used for populating content in the header and sidebar, so they're needed on every page. Meanwhile, the queries in the page section only run when you navigate to that particular page. This allows us to avoid running queries unless they're necessary. I also wanted to point out how to use query params to load dynamic content on a page. So if we go back to our project tracker app, you'll see that I have a number of projects that I want to be able to see details for. Um, but I want to use the same template to view all of this data. So the way I do that is with this project detail page and in this navigation, when I navigate to one of the apps, I'm navigating to this project detail page and I'm setting the ID query param equal to the ID of the item that I clicked. So now if we go into the project detail page, this query is the main query that's populating content on this page. And you'll notice that it's referencing url.searchparams.id. So this allows you to render dynamic content on a page based on the URL. And there you have it. That was a quick overview of some of the main features of multi-page apps.